And here we are. Well, uh, just thought I'd send out a little a little update. Um, I'm here in Calcutta, West Bengal. And let's see, today is Wednesday, April 23rd, I believe. I was thinking originally about kind of leaving today, but it's crazy how uh, time just sort of melts into weeks and months in India. So. Uh, I'm going to, I'll probably, I was going to leave around this time to go to uh, the jungle, the Sundarbans as they're called, and, uh, but I'll probably postpone it to next week because I finally started to get a little bit of a groove with, um, with some of the organizations here. So yesterday was my first day working with uh, Mother Teresa's, uh, the Mother House, the Mother House, uh, and Missionaries of Charity. So they have like eight different homes in, um, in Calcutta. I was reading the exhibition room a couple days ago, just shared all about her life, and uh, it was, they have like, they have like a hundred and, they might have even like, in like 134 countries, they have something like four or five hundred different homes, uh, and something like 5,000 workers, but I, I don't really, I didn't really know much about Mother Teresa's life, but I was, I was, just impacted. I felt myself moved a couple times by just her love. Like it was, it was all about love. She was like, just, just love people, love God, just give yourself to them. Just, ugh, something fell on me. Crazy place. I felt something touch me. Um, so I was, I was really just touched by Mother Teresa's life, and just felt this like common bond to her heart. And uh, and the way she sees life or saw life. Uh, so I I went to one of the homes for the for the sick that she has, and it wasn't the more serious one. I wanted to go to the more intense one, but they're like, oh, this one needs more volunteers. So I'll go there again. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Uh, so I'll go there again this Friday to Femdan, which means I think House of Love. And then today, in a little bit, I'm going to go to the train tracks with the team from the Assemblies of God Church. So, um, it's good. I think last time, last video I posted, I was uh, sick in the dog, and so, and dogs here are sick, folks. They're sick. Um, they're like the, they're like street rats. That's what dogs are like here. Um, main piece. Uh, so, yeah, so last time, so I, I switched into uh, another missionary's house here, Zach. So I was a big answer to prayer, just because it was so much better. The toilets aren't nasty, and so he had a two-bedroom flat and had an extra bedroom. So I've been staying with him since like Thursday, and that's been really good. Just the cool to just stay with uh, an American and someone that speaks English and loves the Lord, and uh, Wi-Fi, big bonus, and uh, kitchen bathroom, all the basic amenities of life that we take for granted, such a beautiful thing. So, yeah, I'm in a good house now, I am jamming a little bit with the Mother Teresa thing. Um, the lotion that you, you give them massages, that's kind of cool, like, it's just a big place where they all hang out and you give them massages. Um, the lotion, after a while, it's like a, like a strawberry flavored lotion, but after a while it's a little bit like a little bit uh, thickening, so I still had the, even with gloves, I still had the smell on my hands, so I like giving massages, I don't know how I feel about that strawberry flavored lotion, it's a little, a little disgusting, um, but when in Rome, when in Calcutta, so yeah, that was interesting, I, you wander a little bit, there's not such clear direction, so a little bit at like at the Prem Don, the House of Love, um, didn't, you sometimes feel a little bit, not useless, but like, okay, what am I doing? So, there's that element. Um, so, I mean, it just takes, I think, a while to fit your, find your groove, find your flow. Um, so, not bad. Uh, I talked to, I talked to a lady. It was just cool. I was just telling Laura, I'm like, I even asked them if they had teams going to the slums, and they're like, well, we just have the volunteers going to the, the homes, that's where you do the most benefit, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense, so I was like, man, I'd love to just get as close and personal to, like, the slums and the streets and the people out there as possible, and um, I was talking with a lady the other day, 
and she was or, uh, over lunch, an Asian lady, and she was like, hey, so uh, go to the Femme Don, go to the House of Love for a week, and then come talk to me, like, I have an idea for you. And I was like, well, I might be gone next week, so just tell me now. So she and some others, I think it's supposed to be Hush Hush, Hush Hush, that's why I'm throwing it on YouTube for millions to see, but she and some other people um, go to the train tracks, um, and they kind of work, kind of work, um, it's all kind of in conjunction together, but they, they actually go there and get the patients, and then they'll, they'll bring them, they'll bring them to the place that they need to go where they can get the best help. So, um, so she threw that at me, and I'm like, man, that'd be awesome to do, actually, like, to go hands-on to the train station and, and just connect right with the people there, and, and she said, you know, you, you give them a shower and a shave and you cut their hair and they're like a different person. Like, it's, it's like a whole facelift. So that's the kind of stuff I would love hands-on. And um, uh, and even yesterday I was I was there at the Femme Don and just praying for a few people. And even with the language barrier, a guy had um, a lot of knee pain. And it looked like there was no more knee pain after my broken Hindi. Acha means good. So acha, kora acha, little good. Very good. Or tora dard. Dard means pain. Tora dard, little pain. Bahot dard, a lot of pain. So we kind of have a scale there. So I think it was acha. I think it was good. The guy got healed. His, his knee pain left. Prayed for a guy that had pain in his head and arm. I think that left. So it's cool. In the midst, like, I don't just want to slap a band-aid on people or give them, like, I want to see, the, you know, I want to see the miracles. I want to see their legs grow out and their their eyes get healed. So, moving in that direction, little by little. Tora, tora. Um, yeah, overall, I think some days, sometimes, whether it's the, I think in part, sometimes it's the food I'm eating, I just am trying to thrive in all aspects. So, sometimes I feel a little sluggish and heavy, a little blah, um, a little like cagey or, or whatever, but sometimes I feel that back in the States too, that kind of restless feeling. So, Trying to get a flow where I feel every day, just on my A game, feel inspired, feel 100%. Oh, and here we got, here we have, we have Joel, the Canadian missionary there. And Joel and his wife live at this apartment complex. I'm getting a ride with him. Um, you can kind of see him walk in. So Joel's going to give me a ride there. He's an incredible mighty man of God. He's an awesome musician. And, uh, alright, that's, uh, that's just about it, folks. Come again.